Hi everyone, this is Dr. Akash Mangukia and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare for USMLE Step 1 exam. I have just given USMLE Step 1 exam and I just got my result and that was pass. So first of all, I'm going to tell you how was the exam. So the exam was average for me. It was not too tough and was not too easy. So I had prepared from UWorld itself. So I had idea that how exam is going to be. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to prepare for USMLE Step 1 exam. So be with me and watch this full video if you want to get the understanding of how to prepare for USMLE Step 1 exam and what resources you can use for this exam. And these resources I had personally used. And if you find this video helpful, then please consider consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel and comment down below what are your queries i'm gonna reply your comments as soon as i see them so without any further ado let's get started so i have made a pdf on how to prepare for usmle step one exam so we are gonna just start from where to start so first you can use is boards and beyonds video these boards and beyonds video are so useful they are the core if you have basic knowledge then you can do these boards and beyonds videos and it can powerful your knowledge for usmle step one exam then you can use is first aid and pathoma book first aid is a must first aid you cannot miss first aid okay so if you have first aid then read from first line to last line because all of the content that is written in first aid is so high yield so you cannot miss first aid and pathoma is for revision some people do it some people do not i personally did not do the pathoma so you world you world is also must because it will give you idea that how the question pattern is gonna be so you need to do you world must people usually do you world 60 to 70 percent i personally did it 100 percent because I cannot do just 16 per 70 percent and gain the confidence to do this exam so i had to do 100 percent u world okay then you can use this sketchy micro sketchy micro is really helpful resource for microbiology i did not do sketchy pharma i just had done sketchy micro because my microbiology was weaker than my pharma then you can do is nbme nbme is personally made by usmle exam makers so you cannot miss nbmes which i'm going to talk about uh, later in the video so in the end you can do is u world self assessments so we are going to divide this video in first four that is your preparation part and fifth and sixth is your assessment part so let's just get jump into bnbs bnb will clear your concept of your basics and that is also systematically and it has all the explanation of first aid if you are grading first aid first and you are not understanding the concept of the first aid and the short uh, lines of first aid you can refer to bnb videos and dr ryan will make you understand the first aid better than anyone else so you can use bnb videos to gain the knowledge that will be asked in usmle exams so if you have enough knowledge then you can go on to do your first aid so if you are not understanding the first aid please refer to bnb videos it will have all the understanding of your first aid book then you can move on to first aid or pathoma first aid is a holy book of usmle i call it holy book of usmle and that is the ultimate guide to pass usmle exam if you do not read first aid you will probably not gonna pass usmle exam because it is so high yield that you cannot miss as i said earlier that pathoma is for pathology it has precise information of pathology you can do this for pathology i personally did not do it because i thought that revising it again and again from different books it is not for me i just kept reading the first aid so i didn't need to do pathoma so choose either one for pathology either first aid or either pathoma you can always do both if you are not understanding the first aid concept then you can always refer to pathoma but if i were to suggest then pick one only then do at least three revision of your first aid because i personally did it three times for my usmle exam because first time when you do it it will just make you oriented to the first aid book second time you are memorizing things you are understanding things and third time that is your confidence if you are doing it third times that line is gonna be in your mind that this line was on this page and on this corner so this first aid book is really really high yield and i personally suggest that this book you have to do it with bnb videos because 
some information in BNB it is not written in first trade book you can always annotate first trade because there is so much large spaces for annotation in the first trade you can always do annotation from BNB and other resources that you are reading from so use those large spaces of first trade for annotation I highly recommend it third is you world you world you cannot miss it because you world have almost 3800 question when I was doing the U world, there was 3764 question and they increased it to 3800. So think about it. They are increasing the question day by day because they are updating the information which is asked in the exam. Complete 100% if possible. And if not, then complete patho, pathophysiology, pharma, micro and behavior. Because from this, you will get so many questions. So at least complete pathology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, microbiology and behavior. Most of the people do 100% and I personally did it only one time. I did not do it second time. People usually do two passes of U world. And there is no point of doing two passes of U world because some of the questions answers you already know and there is no point to uh, revise questions again and again because you are not gonna get the same question in the uh, exam. You will get similar questions but not the same so revising it two times i think it is waste of time so do it only one time if possible and take the u world as learning tool it is not your assessment take the u world as learning tool you are learning from it that is, that is not your assessment tool okay keep the track of your performance because it is really necessary to keep the track of your performance because i have only gotten 50 percent corrected questions I did not do 50% of the question right and as you can see that I have used 100% of the U word and if you are seeing here that there is not uh, okay there is not written the estimated time that I was taking for per question but the, it was 97 second per question in analytics you can also see per question how much time you are taking okay moving forward there is sketchy micro sketchy micro is really good for micro I did not do it pharma because my pharma was better than micro and i don't recommend to do pharma because there are lots of medicine that you have to remember and you can just remember those medicine by looking at the first red pictures but if you have weak pharma you can always refer to sketchy pharma watch all the videos there are 100 videos of microbiology you have to watch all those videos because he has make it so easier like you can just remember that picture and you can answer that microorganism i'm just gonna give you an example if there is a cat that you are remembering from that picture it means it is catalyzed positive organism it is that simple okay do pdf before exams i did two times okay i did two times this pdf before exam in in this pdf there is picture and there is explanation down below there is picture and there is explanation down below you have already watched the video now i'm telling you to do pdfs because you have already watched the video you have all the understanding of the pictures so you can just refer to the pdf and see the pictures and read the explanation see the picture and read the explanation before the day of my exam i just did the pdf of sketchy micro because my micro was so weak moving forward there is assessment part okay so nbmes and u world self assessments so there is uh, 25 to 31 nbmes okay so 25 to 31 nbme so total 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 total 7 nbme so that total 7 forms you have to do and these nbmes are made by usmle exam takers so you cannot miss these nbmes some of the question will directly from the nbmes but not exactly same okay you will get similar questions from nbmes too and they give you probability of passing if you get certain amount of the percentage in that nbme form so i have done four nbmes 25 27 28 and 29 on first nbme which i took 15 days before exam i got 56 percent and that is not nice score okay i had probability of passing below 50 percent and i was devastated so i again started doing my first aid revision i did that revision in seven days seven to eight days okay and after that i started doing nbme 27 28 and 29 and in which you can see that my score is 
near 60 and that is nice score that if you are getting 60 percent that is nice score and from which you can definitely pass so after that i did u world self-assessment and on that i got 198 and that is the passing mark of usmle step one exam if you get 198 u world self-assessment that is i know that is you know 50 50 percent of passing because if you get 197 that is not passed so i got exactly 191 on you uh, were self-assessment exam i do not have that picture but definitely i got 198 and i got confidence that i will pass this exam i did not do you were self-assessment too because i just knew that i'm gonna pass this exam and there is one called free 128 question on in which i got 71 percent and believe me guys this boosted so much confidence in me like no one else okay so you have to assess yourself that where you are standing but i did one mistake that i started this nbm is late you have to do this nbme in your preparation time not when your exam is close okay when you are done with 50 to 60 percent of the u world start doing nbme 25 after seven days do nbme 26 after seven days do nbme 27 like this one week one nbme you will get improvement okay i had started nbmes when my exam was close and that i do not recommend that was my mistake okay so start doing nbme exam when you are preparing for usmle step one exam or you have completed 60 to 50 percent of the u world okay after that i'm just gonna talk about the exam day strategies so be there on time because being on time is so crucial because sometimes there are lots of students and your exam started late so you do not want that and drink coffee but no, do not drink too much coffee because it will make you pee more and if you pee more and if you are stressed that i have to pee you cannot focus on the exam so i recommend that drink coffee but not too much and bring little snacks you have to feed your brain glucose so you have to bring the snacks for your brain to work okay adjust your chair because when i was uh, sitting on the exam chair my screen was little too high and i did not know that my seat chair is adjustable so i did four to five blocks of my exam looking like this so you do not want that because your neck will start to get hurt and you will not focus on the exam okay so adjust your seat first when you are sitting on the chair from the first block break time strategy between the blocks uh, there is two options okay first one is 5 5 5 15 10 10 minutes break so this is first this is second third four fifth and six breaks so there are there are seven blocks that that means that you will have six breaks so i personally went with option one and there is also option two uh, lots of people also go with option two because in that option you will do three blocks of exams continuously without break and after that you will take break of 50, 20 minutes uh, in which you will uh, eat your snacks and after that you will take breaks of 10 10 and 10 uh, and that is also efficient so you can pick one of the option from this okay so that is all i wanted to say for the exam day strategy hope you like this video and if you have any queries then comment down below i will reply as soon as i can okay and i will see you guys in the next amazing video like this and until then stay safe bye bye